We're going right back, back to part nine, which is going to be a longer. And we tend to usually still have like a few more minutes, like 40 minutes. It's like, I get paranoid. I'm not going to get paranoid anymore now that I know how to do this. Oh my god, I'm Finally, just Renato caught up to her. He had never seen her scared before. At school, she'd been the determined, brave one. Now her eyes were wide, frightened. He didn't like seeing her this way. Kill her, whispered the stone. You cannot win your rebellion without it. Please. No, said Zenobia. Not that way. Oh, oh they had been so close once. Could he really feed her soul to his demonic gem? But if he spared her, he would not get the full power of the stone. Oh, how could he be the hero he wanted to be? You know what? Screw it. Oh my god, we, we're, we're still doing this. We have so many endings to do. And you, and we, you know what? She killed, she started it, she betrayed us. Uh, a lot of these people are dying, so fuck it. With a flick of his wrist, he slashed Zenobia's throat. Her eyes widened even more. And then oh. the light went out of Renardo felt amazing. Oh, shit. Power was rushing into him like water from a burst dam. Oh, such brilliance. He sucked the oh. stone. <laughs> Tasty. Renardo returned to the Farfarer and set a course for the Nexus. The Empire had a communication outpost there. He could call the Emperor directly. It was time to seize the outpost and let the Emperor know what he had done. We just we just went dark bear. <laughs> oh shit, we we play we play Anakin one. We play Anakin one over. The Nexus was beautiful. He never realized how beautiful. Everything glowed. The wind was so sweet, the sun so soft. You know that you know we had to get so all the endings. Black raven feathers. Black feathers. Suddenly, his eyes are filled with them. He's falling through smoke under a dead sun. A voice calls him home. Is this a vision? Whose? Is this the time of the lost gods? Or the future? No matter. What mattered now was killing his way to the Imperial outpost and challenging the Emperor from there. We are a terrible person. <laughs> You know what? Screw it. I'm done playing the good guy. We're gonna go. There were stickers all over the platform for really hot lady foxes with pictures and addresses and everything. Para eso es muy caliente, señor. Eso es lo que pasa. Qué carajo. Somos muy malos. Vamos a matar todos estos cuernos. Wait. Female foxes or male foxes? Um, I wouldn't mind both. Well, especially the male ones. <laughs> Nobody heard that. Okay, you get to hear that. Sometimes, all you know, what you know, you know. Now, do we really need anything this time? Man, we still part of it. We can everything, but. So, are we gonna get this sword that was done or are we just like the stones? It wasn't his fault. They looked so... breakable. Yep. 
I mean, the Skyper one was hilarious. This one is just really dark. We just killed, we just lit her throat. We were like, bitch! <laughs> Kinda of feel bad for her, but you know what? Up ahead, was nah. Kino? Yes, what was he doing here? Bernardo! Hey, buddy! Hey there, old buddy! Please don't kill me! Why would I kill you? Asked Renardo, although he had been thinking about it. Well, uh, you've become... Uh, no, 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 I mean, no disrespect at all here. Uh, kind of evil? Wow. Maybe uh, you should, I don't know, go to the mountains to have a think? See if maybe you're sure the stone is not all that healthy a thing to keep? I suppose you wanted, Renardo said and poked Lapino in the chest for emphasis. Oh, had he just killed Lapino? Oh, damn it. Oh shit, we just killed, we just killed our old friend. You know, what the fuck, we just stacked into there like that. Make kill symbol, symbol, see. We just killed him like damn. You were like, you're like, fuck you, Lupina. You see, you didn't even beg it, you didn't know anything about me, motherfucker. You shot me with a fucking cross. This is shit garbage. Okay, I, I can't calm down. <laughs> I'm getting way into this. That's what they Go get. to the outpost. Use their fire speaker. Tell the Emperor what he'd done. And then, he'd go to the secret rebel base. Let them know he was ready to lead them to victory. Yeah, at this point, we just all turn back. Eh? They were like, you know what, Pino? You, you want to talk to us right that way? Maybe we should just go. Start him to death. Okay. Just, uh, Damn, we just killed a Pino in cold blood. Oh, we just like the fucking thing. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know. I just, you know, he shouldn't have called the bad guy. Shouldn't see. He did it still there, but he had to be a smart ass and. We call him a bad guy when we're trying to save our people. You know, what kind of friend is that? I was like, what kind of friend is that? I think it's a friend. I just ran away in this point. Renato rampaged to the Imperial outpost like a water buffalo rampaging. At the last moment, he remembered not to kill the far speaker toad. After all, he wanted a word with the Emperor. But there was only silence. The Emperor was scared, like little girl. Well, he would gather the rebel army and slaughter the Imperial fleet. Yes! Applauded the Iblistone. Tremendous! Then the Emperor would have to answer his far speaker, wouldn't he? Who are you? Asked a distant voice that sounded uncomfortably like Zenobia. What have you become? The mountains. Go to the mountains, urged another that sounded a bit like Lapino. Screw it. Renato called the rebel council to let them know to gather their forces. Then, he killed a fire speaker toad. Why? Well, because to make sure his sword was sharp. Oh no, that's awful. So no one else could use it. Yes, that's it. Then, he set off for the ruins and the secret rebel base. You know what? We're going to, we're going to Darth Vader Road. <laughs> we're putting the Anakin Road. <laughs> ah. 
The ruins were crawling with ravens. Probably looking for the secret base, Renato thought. But then he realized they're probably looking for me. They must be very scared of me. Well, here I am. You are the finest warrior ever, whispered the Iblastone. And he had to agree with it for once. Who was as good as Renardo? Man. We just throw no mercy at this point. It's a bad to feel this way. I hope his mother wasn't watching. Yes! Get a little out of there. Good. <laughs> I love that. The dark music. Nice play. So I'm going to continue doing my homework a little bit. After I'm finished playing this part. A very clever engineer named Elon Muskrat had got his start making floating platforms. Not many people knew that. They say that we're a bad guy, but we're doing it for the rebels. Plus, who's a true bad guy here? Them or us? That's the real question. Ah, oh, hello, Nardo. Emperor of Evil. Ah, shit. Can I go back? Renato wondered idly if people who had built these poles had really, really long tentacles. Okay, we still don't have enough to upgrade this. Oh, we still don't have enough there. Yeah, really. Oh, I can build this. I can build this. Fuck yes. We have other swords now. Yeah, boy. Many ways to go,
I was so OP right now. Ah, so so going down there with stuff. Oh. Ah, there's only some like in secret area, just secret area. Used to say power gems were cheating. <laughs> Stupid old fart. Oh, oh, give me. Give me. the stone. Let it make you a memorial. Come to think of it, Renato thought as he put down another raven. Why shouldn't I be emperor? I, how did anybody get to be emperor anyway? By making war. I mean, not counting the transcendent emperor, obviously, who had banished the lost gods and started time. Yes, he should be emperor. He would make a great emperor. Mm -hmm. Right, Stone? Oh, right, boss. Yeah, a lot of damage. Ah. Right, boss. Nice. What was the point of this gate? Did they think no one would notice the lever? Say that we're dead. Let's just give a kill. Hey, why don't you tell if someone's far away or just really small? stairs so he was close to the rebel base nothing was on fire so far so good hero wall hero sword ice wall ice cube Didn't see that one.
Okay, didn't have any deal with it now. It's a blue anyway. Okay, let's see what happens. Renato strode into the council. Let's do this thing. Let's make me emperor. They looked confused and nervous. Ah, had he mentioned the Emperor thing? Yeah, he meant to bring that up later. Um, I mean, let's go win this rebellion! He waved his sword around encouragingly. They ran. Cowards. He'd stop them. He cut down a few to inspire the others. But soon, there was no one to cut down. Well then, he'd have to attack the fleet alone. More for me, he said, unless it was the stone that said it. Traitors. Traitors, all of them. They'd run rather than following him, rather than cheering him. What should he do to the cowards? Anything he wanted to. After all, he was a true hero, the best warrior there ever was. Oh, no one could stop him now. But first, finish him. The Emperor, that is. Oh shit, we just killed those guys. <laughs> we are becoming a tyrant. <laughs> Where was the rebel fleet? They weren't even trying an assault. They were going to miss a day in history. The downfall of this dynasty. And a new one to take its place. He didn't have to kill all the ravens. He could enslave them. And enslave the toads too. All the animals would worship him as a god. For he had once been a god. They would willingly give him their blood and their souls. And the world would change. Would become familiar again. Damn, what the hell have we become? Or I could go that way, he thought. They have become evil. I feel so bad for so good. <laughs> Me siento muy mal por muy mucho tiempo. Just kill me everyone at this point. Are we not? So everyone that doesn't follow our league, we're like, yeah, they didn't switch today, so we just, we just kill them off. Sorry, mustache, thought Renato. I don't know how the ending is going to be for this. Yeah, like, please, no. We are ruthless. We just kill a lot of people, do we? Bernardo was glowing with dark power. Already the sun had dimmed. He could do anything, he realized. He could wrap the island safely in smoke again. He was beyond a hero. 
He was going to become a god again. How odd, he thought, that the Iblis Stone had nothing to say about any of this. Well, no matter. Once he killed this petty toad emperor, he would bring back the Black Sun. What the hell? A lot of things like. He couldn't hear his enemies answer. He's just so powerful that everyone is just afraid of us at this point. As soon as he saw the stone. Wait, oh, I missed it too, my love. Okay, I send you, I send you, I send you, what the fuck? Not a pleasant breeze through his armor. Oh dear, that wasn't good. <laughs> Soon he'd confront the Emperor. Funny that this whole war had come about because the Emperor feared death. And now it was coming for him. There was some sort of lesson there, wasn't there? And again, it's just a bigger evil to be bigger evil. Pretty sure that another won't be that terrible after we were going to that Imperial. Emperor and the council huddling by his ship, plotting. They saw him and cowered before. <sighs> Back to hell, fiend, croaked the Emperor desperately. In the name of the transcendent Emperor, croaked the speaker. They held some arcane items he didn't recognize. He simply flexed his will and sucked their souls out of their bodies. And Iblis exulted. It is finished. Oh shit. And the void that had been a mere stone on a sword expanded. It stretched and ripped like a vast womb. And a gaze black and pitiless as the sun passed through the void into the land. And so time ended. Oh. And just like that, he was alive again. And back on the Farfarer, still fleeing burning Ubar. The book was still open before him. And so, the book was a portal. It took you to the future when your destinies would branch. He had failed and died three times Damn. but he learned another true thing the iblis stone was evil it would try to corrupt anyone who used it shit son ah <laughs> uh, yeah so i love how i'm taking this pet
kind of weird what this thing is too. But he was starting to feel like he was getting the hang of this. There was a way through to victory. He could feel it. He just had to keep running the path of destinies. With that, the book fluttered back to the beginning, and he fell into it. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Okay, guys, we're gonna go with this one again, but that would be all for today. 